So this is our summary for month nine for payroll for the month of December. Now, you can see up here we've got RTI payments, pensions as well. So HMRC payments. So once you've paid your staff, so their take home, this is what you'd pay them by Bax transfer. James gets £2,637.78. Lana gets £802.45 and Sarah needs to get a payment of £328. HMRC now, if we're paying them monthly, click continue, then remember because of the cutoff dates, the cutoff is anyone who was paid up to the 5th of January. So month the month 9, which is for your December payroll, runs from the 6th of December up until the 5th of January. So this is the total that we have to pay for the gross for tax. So tax is 720. For NICS, this is the total we've taken for employees and for employers. And this is the year to date that we've paid so far. We haven't paid anything for them so far. So basically, the 720 plus this sum here for the national insurance contributions of 99.76 comes to 819.76. And what we would do just for our records is we'd need to make sure we paid this 819.76 by the 19th of January. It's got to hit their account by the 22nd, but the 19th is a Friday. If we make that payment, hopefully, faster bill payment, they should get it on the Friday, but even they'll get it by the 22nd. So that's what we need to pay to HMRC by this date. And we can click on save those changes. And we'd put in a bill payment on our actual bank account. Now you can look at the P30, this is the employer's pay slip, total gross income tax, total national insurance contributions, and that's the amount due. Box 1 plus box 2 equals box 3, that's how we know how much to pay. And it's actually telling you that this is the pay account name HMRC, and that's the account number, that's the sort code, and you'd use your reference number. So that's the P30. We can export that. It, again, it can be password pr protected. And you should save that as how much you've paid for your records, for your HMRC. That's your P30. That's the name of that form, the P30. And the other form, and we used to do this manually, it was called the P32. Here, now everything's computerised, you click a button and this gives you your P32 employment record. And this is telling you that that was month one. You scroll down. Now remember, we didn't start running this payroll until month nine. So we scroll through. Month eight runs from the 6th of November to the 5th of December. But we began our first payroll in month nine. And that runs from the 6th of December to the 5th of January. If it was a weekly payroll, you could have a figure here each week. But it was in this week ending the 3rd of January that the payroll itself was actually run. We paid three people. Total amount of the tax was 720. That's the employee's NICS. That's the employer's NICS. And that's the amount that has to be paid over. And that was paid on the 19th of January 2018. And then this, it gives you a, an annual, so we haven't got through to the others yet. As yet, the other months, we've just done one month so far. So that's your P32 employer payment record. So again, I'll export that. It can be password protected if you wish, which is brilliant. And I'll export that and save that for my accounting records for, to show my employer payment record. So those are the reports that are useful to print off when running your payroll.